right, I hope everybody's doing well. I wanted to give you a verbal talk through on the PowerPoint presentation that uh, just had a very static picture of how to do uh, or how to calculate for your Parkland formula. So just as a reminder, remember that these guys, you know, each component is worth a total. Um, if you're looking at this half and this half, then you're talking about splitting it. There would be 4.5 here, and then there would also be 4.5 for the bottom half. So I'm bringing this up because I'm going to pull a picture, and I want you guys to kind of see what I'm referencing. So let me pull this. Here's a third degree burn. So we can see that it's pretty, pretty extensive. And we're only going to assume, we're assuming that this is it. This is the only section that's burned. And you can see that it's bilateral. And if you're looking close enough, you'll also see that they have done, they've already done an escherotomy because this is a circumferential burn. So what you're looking at here is that, um, that escherotomy that's been done and the, the skin is split open in order to adapt to the fluid um, the fluid shift for this particular patient. So when we look at this picture we see that um, you've got four and a half on each leg so we have a total of nine percent burn. So let's do the calculation and show you guys how that works and hopefully this will kind of uh, kind of tie all the little pieces and parts into a nice little bow for you. Let me pull up a new page. It's what we're looking at here is it's talking about the total body surface area that's been burned and then we're multiplying that by two to four milliliters. This is kind of the art of medicine and making that decision as to what. So let's say that you've got, let's just say we're looking at that guy that we had just a minute ago and he's 70 kilograms. So we know that this patient was a 70 kilogram patient and that his total body surface area burn came, came out to 9%. And let's just split the middle and say we're going to give 3 milliliters total. So what you're going to end up doing is the 70 times the 9. And that's going to give you 9 times 7 is... 9 times 7 is 630. So we'll put that on there. And I don't know why my suddenly it has slowed down. Woo, sorry about that. All right, so it's 630, and then we're going to take that 630 and we're going to multiply it by the 3. So if you brought this out entirely, you would end up with 1,890 milliliters that you're going to give in total. And that, that is over a 24-hour period. So you're looking at this for a 24-hour. We know that we have to give the eight, the 1,890 milliliters over that 24-hour period in order to care for that 9% burn. So the, you're probably asking yourself how this works. Well, in order to do this over the first eight hours when it, you lose the most amount of fluid, you need to give half the total dose. So you've got the 1,890 milliliters, and you're going to divide that into two, and that's going to give you an answer of, I did that again, 18, 0, bring down the 9, 2 will go into 9 four times, that gives you an 8, you subtract the 9 from the 8, that gives you 1, drop your zero down and we're going to make that 945. So you know that it's going to be for the first eight hours you're going to end up giving 945 milliliters. But that's over an eight hour period. So you got to figure out what that is per hour. That's what we're going to figure for per hour. That was a horrible R. Okay, so you're going to have to divide that. So you're going to take the 8 hours and you're going to divide it. 9, 4, 5. 
and 8 goes into 9 one time. Subtract that, that comes out at a 1. You drop your 4, so that's going to give you 14. 8 goes into 14. 2 8s are 16, so it only goes one time. 8 subtracted by 14, and that gives you a it gives you 6. I think I'm down at the bottom of my page here. Here we go. So that gives you 6. You drop down to 5. You have 65. 8 goes into 65 8 times. And we'll just say that it's 118. So what you're looking at here is in that first 8 hours, in order to give this much medic or fluid, excuse me, you have to give 118 milliliters per hour. Now, if you're using a 60 drop set, that actually turns out quite easy because it means that you're dropping 118 drops per minute to get to that total per hour. Um, that is like one of those nice little shortcuts that they give you. There's not too many of them out there, but hey, we get them. So when you're looking at this and we're talking about that patient, and you're trying to calculate this out, of course you're going to start the fluid and you're going to run it wide open until you can get this calculated because you're going to have other things to be worried about. But that 118 milliliters per hour, if you're doing an inner facility transport, transport, that's a good way to check yourself and make sure that that person in that first eight hours is getting the correct amount of fluid resuscitation. Now for the last 16 hours, they're going to get the remainder of this. So the last 16 hours, they get the, the remainder. So again, you're doing the same thing you did before, but instead of using 8, you're going to divide it into 16. And that's going to give you how many milliliters per hour or drops per minute, if you will. Hope this helps. Talk to you guys soon.